Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be taking a look at another subscription box. This one comes to us from GoingGear.com. This is their EDC Club monthly subscription box. What's not to like? It's EDC gear that you get every month. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, let's do it. Alright, so we got GoingGear.com, their EDC club. This is a monthly subscription box. They do have two levels. They have a standard that will run you $59.99 a month, and then they have a premium that will run you $199.99 a month. And as always, if you are interested in checking out this particular box, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. But we are going to take a look at this month's box to see what they sent us over and see if it was worth it or if you guys get to clown me again in the comment section as per usual and let's see these guys give you a nice little explanation here and i do really do appreciate when these companies do do stuff like this because they tell you what's in the standard box and then they tell you what's in the premium box and then they also give you some prices which you internet sleuths let me know if they are fictional or somewhat based in reality so we got some packing peanuts let's see let's go ahead and take some stuff out of the box and we will get into it here all right some packing peanuts okay so what is this this is a key unity what is this let's see it is a pocket knife sandblasted titanium Ooh. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. This is, this is kind of... Okay, all right. All right. You got a bunch of little... got a little sticker for Key Unity. I guess the company there. This little orange. And then they give you a... A little thing that says, Thank you. Apparently. You can find them at keyunity.net. This is some... Very interesting language choices for thank you, but nonetheless, if that applies to you, they do thank you. Okay, so let's see what we got here. This is a this is a brochure. Seems for a bunch of products. Wow, a lot of their products. Okay, so yeah, you're not going to be able to really see that, but yeah, they give you this nice fold-out thing of all the products that they sell. So okay. I've never really heard of this company before, which again is pretty much the, one of the things I do like about getting subscription boxes is I get exposure to brands that I normally would not have exposure to. And this is certainly one of those times. And they give you this little pocket knife that comes vacuum sealed, which is okay. I like it. Never really gotten a knife that's been vacuum sealed before. Okay. It does have a little way to affix it to your key ring or run a piece of cordage through it. Is it a single blade? Yes, it's a very small blade. It's almost like it, it it's 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 in a holder. Is this remo is this removable? Let's see. Uh, let's see what this has to say. This is the KK01. If you go to their website, if you go to KeyUni's website and you want to check it out, that's the number. And it is sandblasted. It does have a really cool look. And I will say this, it, it's it's very, it's very, has a very small profile. So if you were going to carry this, you know, in your pocket, yeah, it has a very, very small profile. Wouldn't take up a lot of real estate, wouldn't be, you know, very obtrusive and and it's it's not it's not heavy <clears throat> let's see it says this is one of the best compact keychain knives we've seen lately okay you better better buckle up because that's that's a lot of uh that, that's that's a whole lot of you know talking yourself up it says it's built with titanium handles and a number 24 scalpel replaceable blade 
I thought that that looked kind of sus suspicious there. That that could be that you could replace that blade. So I guess you just take the you just take this screw out right here and you can somehow you can get well if you take the screw out I don't know okay anyway it, it it says it's a replaceable blade it looks it certainly looks that way it looks like it, it would be a little a little replaceable blade so yeah and that to me just makes it that much better because I'm lazy and all these knives I got I don't really feel like sharpening all of them and I can when I can just pop them out and replace the blade that makes it all the more better and usually I have my little my little razor blade that I carry from Gerber that takes regular you know box blades like this and it's just a little thing you put in your pocket and uh, yeah when the blades get dull or you mess them up you just pop another blade in and you're done you're good to go but yeah it, says, it does say you can't replace this it says uh, hook it on your bag your keys put a lanyard throw it in your pocket no matter how you decide to use it we think you're going to enjoy it and it does and it, you know it does have a scalpel type look to it instead of like your traditional box cutter so yeah I, I dig this man and like I said it's got a very small profile so yeah it, it's it's definitely something that fits very nice in your pocket all right so first thing out the gate like it and they say it carries a $22 retail price so internet sleuthing it is a key unity kk01 and they say it's 22 bucks well let's see what is this a a bermuda triangle matchbox puzzle uh, let's see matchbox puzzle and we got two of these we got a ring the rings of fire and this one that it says it's the bermuda triangle so these are just little pocket puzzles so yeah so let's see what they say about that and they say you do get two which we got and they, they okay six dollars and 65 cents so that's that's pretty much on the on the mark here and it says it's always nice to have something to keep your mind busy that doesn't involve picking up your phone Ooh, i know a lot of people are gonna vehemently disagree with that these small matchbox puzzles are great to keep in a bag for downtime during the day or bring them with you on your next camping trip there are a total of 15 different puzzles and you will be receiving two different ones you can find you can find the solutions at professorpuzzle.com so very cool these are just little puzzles and i've, I've seen these before and I'm, I'm pretty sure you know if you've been in a lot of knickknack shops you know you can find you can find puzzles like these you try to get them apart and of course it's something that will just infuriate you trying to figure out how to get them apart so that's the the ring of fire or the rings of fire and they got cool little like matchbox boxes so yeah it's very clever i like it it's very cool cool branding cool marketing i like it not gonna complain not gonna not gonna hate so yeah so let's check out the bermuda triangle now this one this one to me looks really cool this is one that would that would probably give me instant rage trying to undo undo this one it has this little this little ball that the that the uh, piece of string goes through and then you have this triangle that has these three holes in it and uh this ring here that i guess you're trying to undo all of it i would i would i was i would expect so yeah that's the bermuda triangle and let's see does it give you any pointers on the box man that is some super small writing i'm not gonna be able to read that but anyway they, they do tell you to keep you from chunking these in the garbage when they uh, totally infuriate you and make you question your life they say you can go to professorpuzzle.com and you can find the solutions so not as to want to go out and you know have a instance of rage okay we got a ray light pineapple mini aluminum red okay what is this okay and it's got some they give you some o-rings here some they give you some small extra two little o-rings okay this is going to be a little light or something i assume yes yes all right 
very small little light that doesn't work. Probably needs a battery. And there's where our gasket's going to go. Oh, it does have a battery. They just have the little, little thing there to keep it from making contact until the customer gets it. And it is a, is this, 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 is not, this isn't no funky proprietary battery, is it? It's just a triple A, right? Well, let's find out. Let's find out if it's got any juice. Yes, it does. Oh, it does. Oh, she is bright. That's, that's uh, a very, very low illumination right there, as you can see. And then it goes brighter. And then it goes super bright. Yeah, that, that's bright. That's that's bright. <laughs> shh, shh. Heel. Big boy. So yeah, so we got Raylight Pineapple Mini. Thirty-one dollars and fifty cents for this little. This little guy here, and I, I do dig the color. It, it's it's a very like burnt out red color. Let's see what what would they say that they just said red. You'll you'll get one of three colors. You get a black, red, or blue. And it says it says here that they are known for producing some of the highest quality and best EDC lights around. It says that the it says we are very excited to be sending you uh, this, and it has a maximum two hundred and forty lumens. That is 240 lumens out of that little single LED. That, that's a lot. And it says the tail switch comes pre-cut. Okay. Alright. It is cut. For what though? It says we have included a rechargeable 10440 battery. But this light accepts a AAA battery as well. So you can take this battery out. So we'll... There's no charging port, so I guess you're on your own having to recharge that uh, 10 440 battery. But you can just put in a off-the-shelf AAA battery into this. I don't think you're going to get, you're not going to get the lumen output probably with the standard alkaline or nickel metal battery. So you're only going to probably get that 240 lumens with a lithium-ion battery. So just get a AAA lithium-ion battery and you'll probably be fine. Okay. The next thing that we got, oh, and this thing, I did say how much it is, $31.50. So this is a pricey little, this is a pricey little guy right here. It is, it, it's expensive. It's expensive. Raylight, R-E-Y-L-I-G-H-T, Raylight. So yeah, but hey, it, it does what it says it does, so you can't say anything bad about it. And this looks like a little EDC pouch. Alpaca. Alpaca hub pouch. It says smart and sleek pouch. Perfect for small tools, torch, cards, and other small items. Compatible with the hub keychain, which is sold separately. So we got just a, a, a little small, you can see the size of my hand, and uh, you can see this pouch is about as big as my hand. It's not very thick, but it does open up, and you do have uh, some, some webbing retention. Let's see, that'll, hopefully that'll come in. And you've got some pockets. You've got two pockets. And then you have, you got this zipper pocket right here on the outside. Just a little small pocket. So yeah, this would be just a little, a little pouch to put all your little knickknacks in to keep them organized. And, and you, could, you could maybe put this, like just me looking at it. I know this probably doesn't translate well into the camera. But you could probably put this in your back pocket. Like, it, it doesn't seem to be, it would be as wide as the back pocket on, like, a standard pair of jeans or something. So you might be able to actually stuff this in, in your back pocket if you were just walking around or, or, you know, whatever. Whatever. Use your imagination. But this hub pouch, ooh, man. This small soft shell pouch is the perfect storage solution for your electronics, your flashlights, your knives, or any other tools you might need on your next adventure. The interior features six internal pockets designed to hold all of your favorite EDC gear. Six pockets. Okay, so these little pouches are, oh no, one, two, one, two. I, I can count sometimes. Okay, well, there's a, there's a pocket here. This is a pocket. Then below this is a pocket. And then you have these three pieces of webbing. 
that can hold something. And then on the other side, it's, it's, it's oh, it's not the same. You only got two. Okay. So on the other side, you only have two, two pockets. So you got three pockets on this side, two pockets on this side. They kind of look the same other than the fact there's just three over here, one over here, two over here. And then you have this one on the, the outside. Okay. Fair enough. All right. And yeah, and it says it'll help to keep you organized. Okay, so yeah, let me let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys in your in your EDC carrying needs is is something like this? Is this something that you would go to or you would search out in your sort of EDC organization for what you carry on a everyday basis? Would this be something that would fulfill a need that you would have? I would be very interested to know. I personally don't carry anything like this. I tend to carry just a pocket knife and even sometimes I, I might carry a little flashlight like this uh, but most times I don't really carry stuff like that so I'd be interested to hear let, let me know what you guys uh, think about this in the, in the comment section down below but this thing carries a $35 price tag this is an expensive little pouch so just keep that in mind this this cat this, this pouch is 35 bucks okay all right and then finally we're gonna move up to the last thing, which is the premium, which kicks this up to that $199, is going to be this giant mouse. It says it's a Ace Corta. It says this thing is a $195. And you can see it says giantmouse.com is where you're going to find this. And it's called the Ace Corta, C-O-R-T-A. And it says it has uh, natural canvas micarta. So, whew. all right, this is a hundred and supposedly a hundred and ninety-five dollar knife. Is this thing? Oh, it's sealed up too. I do appreciate the knives coming coming sealed up. I don't know why. I just do. Maybe it's just. Me being weird. Okay, it does have some some really nice. Ooh, is that a piece of brass? All right, let, let's. Uh, well, hang on, let me. Ooh, very nice action. Okay, has a liner lock. Feels good. Okay, there you go. The scales on it look different. Uh, I've never seen a set of scales like this personally on a knife that I have physically in my hand and it, it looks good it looks good I like the blade I like the blade shape I like it that it that it terminates kind of almost like a spear point so you can really you know if you need to you know stick something you know you have that that really good piercing ability with this blade it does have let's see let's see what it feels like the the belt clip doesn't really interfere with your grip and someone with bigger hands the the chimping is right here I don't know if you can see that or not it's right there and my thumb wants to rest more right here not right here so I have to kind of have to go down like this which you can see that that's kind of an odd way for me to hold a knife because you can see my thumb is, is it would be more natural right here and that's just me because again I have small smaller hands but it does have some some uh, it does have uh, some chimping up there for you to get a uh, better purchase on I do like the tail the tail of the knife it fits in your hand nice it does have it does have this drop off which you know good even though I, I do gripe about the the top of the spine here where where my my texturing needs to be for my thumb it's okay it's okay I'm not gonna knock it, it does have a little choil right here which for me wouldn't I wouldn't you know as far as your grip is concerned just as far as your grip is concerned I wouldn't really use it for nothing but let's see what we got here it says the new ace corta is the con uh, the conjugation of corta meaning to cut fair enough it's a small stout flipper with a pointy but strong blade that fires open like a rocket It does have a it does have a smooth action. I will say that the action on the knife is, is very smooth. I do like it. I like this knife. 
This is something different. Like I said, this, this blade shape it would be something a little different for me in an EDC carry uh, situation. And this is a bigger knife to carry in your, in your pocket. But I, I dig it. You know, it does have a belt clip uh, on this side. I, I do dig it. I would carry it. I'd carry it. I like it. It does have a lashing hole right here. Uh, right here. So you could, you know, run a piece of cordage through it. It's a good looking knife. You know, the scales, I, I, you know, the, the scales have a, a very, like, 70s type look with this brown kind of weave, you know. I like it. I like it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you've heard of this particular brand, GiantMouse.com, or this particular knife. And it says, once you get the Corta in hand and flip it open a couple times, we think you will agree. This is functional tool made for everyday life. Stone washed bowler M390 steel is what we're working with. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. It has brass backspacers. I was going to comment. And of course the handles are micarta. I was going to comment on this back here. Hopefully that shows up that brass. Uh, I, I like saying when I see that, I like saying, I like jumping the gun and saying brass, and sometimes I've actually done that, and this actually not be brass. It's just some kind of uh, color trickery that goes on. So yes, that is actual brass. So you are getting, as you should, for a price tag of 195 bucks, a quality knife. So yeah, I'm happy. We got this knife, we got this little guy, we got our two... Our two, uh, you know, our two puzzles that apparently when you're taking a dump on the toilet, instead of you watching your phone, they want you to take these little puzzles. So, yeah, I don't know how I really feel about that. My mind's challenged enough anyway. We got this little light, which is, is, is good. I like it that you can put a AAA battery in it. That's good. The only thing that I would say I have anything to complain about with this particular box is going to be this little EDC bag. Uh, and maybe this is just me, and maybe this is a bandwagon that I will jump on, you know, later on down the road. I will go to something like this. But let me know what you guys think. This is, this was $199. So, they say this is $195. This is $22. The, the light's $31. The pouch is $35. And the two puzzles are $6.65. Gonna say, gonna say, as long as this knife is truly, it, my first impression of this knife is it is, you, the value is there in this knife. Now obviously, not having used it a lot, put it through its paces to really form, uh, you know, other than a first impression type, you know, thought of it. I would say I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. This, this was a good value for me. It may not be for you. I'm pretty sure, you know, everybody has criticisms of stuff, but, and I will say this, depending on where, where I can get these number, if these are just standard number 24 scalpels that are in here that I can easily replace, this thing right here is awesome. Because I know you can get number 24 scalpels off of like Amazon. You can get like bulk packs of them. And I will have to look into that to see how easy it is to replace those scalpels here. And if it's easy, then this knife is going to be really cool. So yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, guys, that's all I got. If you made this far, hey, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you hanging out for me this long. Hit that comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this box because I will, I will say I, will, I am kind of happy or no, I'm not kind of happy. I am happy because I got actually got some knives. I got a flashlight. I got two little puzzles that I'll tinker around with, maybe give it to my kids and let them go crazy with it. So yeah, I will put a subscription button over here. Next video over here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I love reading the comments and seeing uh, all of your feedback. I really do appreciate the engagement and the interaction. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about Going Gear EDC Club.
and I look forward to seeing you in the comment section down below. And with that, we'll see you next time. Peace.